My name is Becky Larkins. I'm the resident volunteer coordinator at the Southeast Louisiana National Wildlife Refuges Complex. As the resident volunteer coordinator, I get to work with amazing volunteers that have traveled all across the country, working with the National Wildlife Refuge System, National Park Service, state parks, and other resident volunteer camper sites. Resident volunteers make the backbone of the Fish and Wildlife Service, especially with declining budgets pa the past couple of administrations. It has truly saved us with maintenance needs on trails, ensuring that we have the correct brochures out and just trying to maintain your national wildlife refuges. We get along actually better because we got things to share, different things that happen during the day. Uh, we don't work together. We choose to work separately. We uh, do anything from working in the visitor center, visiting greeter, uh, people, giving them directions, to cleaning the office, to trimming outside and, and working in a butterfly garden delivering brochures, and Chuck, you can tell them what you do. I'm a heavy equipment operator. Dig ditches, uh, clean ditches, whatever is going on with uh, excavators, dozers. We love traveling, both of us, and it's an easy way to see the United States on a very limited budget. You, you know, the few hours that you work, it's never real hard work and it's, it's just a lot of fun. You meet great people, other volunteers. I think it's a great program. I think it's, um, I, I try to sell it whenever anybody asks me about it. It's a good way to see the United States. Fish and Wildlife is a great organization to volunteer for because you work usually 24 to 24 to 32 hours and you get you know you get a nice site you're not crowded you work with some great people uh, usually management is very easy to work with and it's just kind of fun to, to learn about the different areas and what type of animals that they're trying to help My name is Sandy Wickland. I am a volu resident volunteer here at the refuge. Uh, when you're working, you get up. Of course, I do a lot of the volunteer, t uh, the interpretive type things, so I interact with the public a little bit more. Uh, so I will schedule a bird walk or uh, do a historical tour or something of that sort. So. My days are pretty much broken up a lot. Instead of getting up and going to work at 8 o'clock and coming back at 4, I'll go out more days of the week and give little programs here and there. What I'm learning about the environment and about our, the land around us is unbelievable. And you don't even know you're absorbing some of it. And then. The joy of sharing it with others is, is also rewarding.